Hello, everyone, and welcome to U.S. Aviation Academy here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Lou Aguilar. I'm the campus director here of the school, and I want to take you guys on a tour. So what do you say we go inside? As you come into our building, you're going to be greeted by a reception crew. And as you can see, the ladies are hard at work, as they are every day. And what they do is they attend to any future students coming in, any visitors that we may have, and they will attend to them as soon as they walk in. In the meantime, we have this quiet little reception area where they can just come here, relax, and get ready for their tour. So right here, we're going to take you into our new addition. This is our latest break room. We have two here at the school. This is our front lobby break room. where The students will come and have lunch, and the instructors are welcome to have lunch here as well. Currently here at US Aviation Academy in Atlanta, we have nine classrooms and we are able to accommodate about 220 students at the moment. This is the US Aviation Academy maintenance technician hangar, if you will. In here, I've got six aircraft and I've got several different types of equipment for the students to work with trainers. And I'm gonna take it back into the power plant area where we do engines. So you get a really good idea of what the students are in for once they step through these doors. We've got several of these trainers scattered throughout the hangar. And what these do is these help the students understand the systems that they're working on. With these trainers, we can also input faults. So if students have to use their brain to troubleshoot, and it gives them a very good understanding of how the entire system works. Here we have a nose landing gear off of an MD-80. And we've got this because there is a section of the curriculum where we talk, we get into landing gears. All the major airlines, the big aircraft, have this landing gear, and what we do is we break it down for the students so they get an understanding of what's involved in the landing gear from the tire to the rim, and then on behind it, we have a breakdown of the actual gear. We got the students can see the wheel halves, they can see the brake packs, they can see all the bearings and rings that it takes to put this together and take it apart. So right behind me is a Cessna 150, probably one of the most simple aircraft the students will get to work on while they're here. This aircraft is primarily used for pilots to learn their training to become a pilot. And we've incorporated it into our program because it features a piston powered engine and a long propeller and fixed landing gear. This right here is a Piper Seneca twin turbo. So it's got dual engines, also has retractable landing gear. This is a six passenger aircraft. This is a Piper Cherokee. This has retractable landing gear, which the students will use when it comes time to do a landing gear check. We will actually put this on jacks, raise it off the ground, and the students can retract the gear so they can understand how their landing gear works. It's also a piston-powered aircraft, four-cylinder propeller, a little bit more sophisticated than 150. But again, all our aircraft here are used in our training to ensure that the students understand all aspects of the systems of all the different aircraft. Right behind me, uh, I've got a Lear 28. At some point, this used to be a corporate jet for a major company, and now we've purchased it, and this is where the students work, learn to work on turbines. I've got two of these aircraft, one on each side of the hangar, and the students will do pretty much everything on this aircraft that's involved in the curriculum of the program that they're studying, from engine removals, to landing gear, to brakes, through interior avionics, it's all done as part of our curriculum here at US Aviation Academy. This is Lear number two, just like the previous one that I showed you over there. This is another Lear 28, uh, another former business jet that we now use for the training of the turbine portion of the curriculum. All right, so now you've seen what we do as far as the airframe portion of the curriculum goes. Now I'm gonna take you to the back and show you where we do power plant. So this right here is a JT9. As you can tell, it's quite the, quite the specimen. This thing's about 16,500 pounds, and the students get a really good idea of just how this thing is put together and how it works. So aside from the JT-9, we've also got smaller engines, jet engines as well. These two particular engines are completely runnable. By that, I mean we take these outside, we actually start them up. Kind of bothers the neighbors because it's a little bit loud, but great trainers nonetheless. To my left here, we've got APUs, auxiliary power units. So this is what provides all the power to the aircraft when it's sitting on the ground prior to takeoff. These right here are piston-powered engines that you find in the smaller aircraft that we showed you earlier. These are all basic six-cylinder engines. The students will come in here and they will literally take them apart and put them back together again. Behind me, I've got another smaller engine from a Delta jet. It's a CRJ. This was just 
donated to us, I believe, by Delta itself, and they just donated to Stan. So once again, thanks again to Delta. Here we are in the sheet metal slash composite area. The students will come back here, and again, they will start learning all about sheet metal. There'll be certain projects that they do with metal. They'll be bending metal, cutting metal, doing riveting, and they'll also be doing composites, which are our integral part of aircraft. Here we have an A320 flight simulator that we use for the students to learn how to ground run and taxi big aircraft. A lot of these students have visions of working for one of the major airlines. And of course, as an AMP mechanic, you're gonna lean hard to learn to run up that aircraft and do taxiing. This is the perfect tool. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour here at US Aviation Academy Atlanta campus. If this is something that you wanna do and you wanna become an aviation professional, go to www.usaviationacademy.com and we look forward to seeing you soon.